Yay! It finally came. Well, welcome guys. Thanks for checking out this video. The Retro Pocket 2 Plus is actually finally here with us. Finally got my hands on this one. So pretty excited to jump into this. Now, the Retro Pocket 2, when it originally first came out, almost about a couple of years ago now, was a pretty big success. And there was a lot of people who wanted to get more out of this system. And back in that day as well, these actual handheld systems that were powered by Android or Linux were very popular. And this model actually was more of the favorable choice out of them. And personally for me, I really enjoyed this handheld. Now, the only place to get these that I managed to pick myself up as well is from GoRetroid.com, where you can actually purchase the actual upgrade board or you can actually go all in and get a whole model complete with the upgrade board as well as some additional touchscreen features. Now I actually went with the, this the board upgrade myself because personally I do enjoy actually putting things together and I thought some of you guys out there may need an extra hand on how to do this yourself. So I will be missing those touchscreen features but personally the actual games that I am playing on it don't really actually need that. So in this video, we're just going to look how to actually assemble this all together. But before we do, of course, if you guys can just hit that like and hit that subscribe to really help this channel. And perhaps even if I get some more of these subscribes or likes, maybe push extra content, try and get more better out of these systems. I also do cover newer games coming out for all the consoles as well as hack tips and also accessories that make them look better onto your TV. So that's the shameless plug-in out of the way, and because I'm British, I've got to make a proper cup of tea before I actually go ahead and do this. And a big shout out to a guy called Janos who donated this actual cool awesome mug just for the sake of this channel. So oh, here it is, it's a nice compact box, let's give it an open. I had to unpeel it just to make sure what was inside because that's all I had was a good brown box. But let's open it up and see what you get all together. Okay, disassembly instructions. Yep, I'm going to try and use them after I've probably failed a couple of times. So oh, it gives you a nice little kit, a little screwdriver, I did come prepared. But that's cool. So these are not guitar picks. They're actually tools to actually wedge open the plastic. So actually peel it out. Uh, ooh, we got a little power cable there as well. We got all these extra screws and mounts. Oh yeah. Oh, there's the D-pad stuff. Instructions. Okay, okay, okay. Okie dokie. I was representing the blue model. That's upside down? No, <laughs> it's not upside down. Ah, okay. So, okay, step by step. Alright. I have opened this up a fair few times. Actually, putting this together is going to be pretty new and pretty exciting to get into. Oh, so yeah, it comes with everything. It comes with extra buttons as well. Because they have actually updated and included one of these, which wasn't in the original actual Retroid Pocket. So this actually does actually give better tactile feedback with the buttons. So I'm pretty excited to see what these are all about. Even though they're obviously in other controllers and things. Okie dokie, we got a... I have no idea what. There's a micro C there. Okay. It's a power adapter. And then this is our mount. Didn't think it would come with this as well. What else we got? There's something else under here. Oh, the main board. Let's give it up then. Oh, what's that? Something soft and squishy there. <laughs> oh dear, what have I done? What oh, that is. Okay, what is that about there? So this is the entire jibbins. And I hope that they have updated of the R stick because that was a bit of a complaint with the original record retro pocket. Now these are very sensitive because I did one video before and these did manage to snap off by just trying to clip it back into the case. So just to give you a shout out as well, these are quite sensitive. You've got your micro C, HDMI out, 
Right then. Let's use this convenient padding that came with it. So we need to peel out these little protectors around the screws. Put these out one by one. Like so. And let's get the guitar pick. Let's get these somewhere safe. So these screws must be just for this display mount. So I'm going to put these aside together. Oh, my screws. Let's put this on the side. Put these screws somewhere safe. Oh dear. Right there, mine is pretty easy to open because I have done a couple of times, but if you're fresh to this, this will be a bit more of a pain to loosen up. And be careful when you do that, you've only just got the power actual cable from the battery to the main board. So that's really easy to actually peel out. There we go. Give a bit of a wiggle. Ooh, there we are. And now if you look inside, we have a bunch of more screws. One here, one here, one here, one here, and then we've got the triggers. That's the left, no, the right bumper gone. Whoop. So these do just pop off. They're the bumpers. So now that is every screw. We've got our triggers off, the bumpers. We've got the speakers. Good. We need to unplug these. They're pretty simple. If you focus inside, these just literally pick off. There we go. Don't need too much force. And there goes my right analog stick bumper thingy. And then this, don't worry about this. This is pretty simple as well. This is the Wi Fi antenna. So be careful again with these little power switches. This is where the screen's connected to. See, so flip that down. Like so, so now it's loose. We use the tweezers as what is recommended. Yeah, so now this is ready to get lifted out. No, it's not. I missed the thing. Let's focus here. That there is what the actual analog stick is connected to. Now this is tiny, so you've got to be really careful with this one. I think that's the only thing you really need to make sure that you're really careful with. I missed a screw. I always miss a screw. You think you know, but you don't know, you know. So there's the membrane. This is the main board. Let's put that aside and let's compare it with the new one. That's the old one. That's a new one. Oh, it's a bit of a smarter job on the board. I don't know too much about this stuff. Hmm. See, a little bit different with the cooling system. So there the main processor is. And then we have the main RAM. It's just kind of cooled with a bit of glue and a heat pad. This one's got actual metal heat sinks. Now, let's try and put this all together. So here are the new jibbins to put. Do I keep my buttons? Are they built different? I think I might have to. They might be designed a bit differently. Just for these new, ah, ooh. New D-pad. Right stick. All right, I really want to make sure I do a proper job here. So they're the old ones. And then these are the new ones. You see that little groove at the top? They have been removed. A little bit different. I think these have got a bit of a more of a rubber texture on it. That's a bit silky and slippery. A bit more grip on this. Like so. Let's get this D-pad now out of the way. And for the new one. The bigger rounder one goes on the D-pad. And then they go on the buttons. Mm -hmm. Not too sure what that's all about though. Let me check. Really not sure what that thing is. So now let's get the tweezers. At left speaker. There's our right one. Yay! After some off screen fiddling, let's put our speaker in. Let's get them nice and tidy. So now our headphone jack is in line with the base. And now our cable is out. This one's pretty simple. Should be. Yay, did it. Lift this up. Tuck them in. And now this is the tiny little analog. Let's get this speaker back in. We can pair it to the original. We just have the power. But then on here, we've got the power and we got another feeder there. That's the same as this one. Boom. Our analog stick is in. It's connected. We have our left, right speaker, our left speaker. And now for the screen. I think I've done it. 
I think we may be ready to go. After I give it some juice and plug in the battery. But let's find out. I've probably missed something. So I'm just going to put a couple of these screws back in to just try and see if we can get up and running. I think that will do for now. Okay. So that power button does not look good. Oh god, this is a pain. I saw I broke it last time. Better. Oh, check out those black buttons. Did I charge this? <laughs> I don't think I did. <laughs> uh, all right. I've got to charge it. I'll be back now. So that's about it for this video. Just for now, I will be actually dwelling into more heavy how to set this up after you've got this assembled. If you want to check that out, I will put that in the description box below. And of course, I will be following this up with a couple of extra videos to try and get more of this system. And we dwelling into is this actual handhold actually worth picking up yourself these days? And who does this actually apply to? So guys, as this is that time of the year, I do hope you guys have a Merry Christmas and a great New Year. But as always, if you like this video, hit that button. If you want to help and support this channel and make it grow into the next 2022, hit that subscribe, leave your comments below, and I catch you a lot on the next video.